In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a Spearman correlation. So after you have your data in, go down to the Analysis tab and go ahead and under Correlations, select Spearman. Go ahead and add your variables that you want to relate together and hit Calculate. Here we can see that we talk about up in the introduction about different effect sizes, you know, small, moderate, and large. Then we have the assumptions of Spearman, which is you really don't want a curvilinear relationship among these variables. And here you can see time one and time two, and time one and distance, and time two and distance. Then we get to the results. There was a significant positive correlation between time one and time two. Anything less than 0.05 is significant. It then talks about the effect size. So that 0.47 is a large effect size. And then we have the results or the interpretation. This correlation indicates that as time one tends to increase, time two increases. Then you can look at the other correlations as well. And then as an APA-like table. And to download the document, simply go up here and download the document. And that's it. That's how you conduct a Spearman correlation.